Hey there everybody, my name is Kedemar and welcome back for another video of NHL 19 franchise mode. We're gonna continue this series boys with uh, the Red Wings. Of course the Detroit Red Wings are doing kind of well after the first month of simulation. We went 6-6. Six and six. It's not uh, good, it's not bad either. It's in the middle. We For now we're fine, it's just the first month. We're gonna need to do much better than this though. Anthony Menta has done very well with 12 points in 12 games, so point per game player. Uh, already went ahead after the first video and uh, did it. He did it the sign sc uh, scout system and everything. Checked out the lineups, everything's fine. So we're gonna jump right into the simulation, boys, again. And uh, we're gonna do this the second uh, month, I guess. And we're gonna go after each month. We're going to check at the scouts and stuff and see how everything goes. L take a quick look at our team every month. Uh, see if there's anything we need to change or something like that, boys. All right. So let's go ahead and do already the f uh, second month of simulation. We lost 6 to 5 for the first game. Uh, Darren Helm is back. I didn't even know he was injured. Is he like in the team? He's in the team. So we're good. Nothing changed. It was a minor injury, I guess. So, two losses. Now, the losses in overtime are fine by me. There we go. There's a win in overtime. Uh, another win in shootout. So, it seems like yeah, a loss in shootout as well. Seems like all our games so far in this month, uh, almost all of them have been to overtime or shootout. Which means that if we lose, it's fine. We get the points. We still need the two points, though. Uh, and that's what worries worries me a little bit, boys. Okay, Vanek is out because of an injured wrist. He's going to be back in 24th of November. Assist assistant coach replace player. There we go. Now, this is not good. I think Vanek was on my first line. So it's really not going to help out. Especially since we were, we were already struggling. Vanek is back. Let's see. Yeah, uh, he was replaced on the first line by Frenzen. Friends in playing on the first line was not that good, but we had to do it, boys. I don't want to. I don't want to have to do this on my own. So we're below average right now. Yeah, nine and twelve. This is not good. This was not a good month at all, boys. We lost a lot of games. We did manage to get a lot of points, anyways. Uh, Archibald is back. Where was he? Right here. Minor injury, so we're good on that. All right, so. Yeah, I don't know, boys. I didn't like that month at all. As you can see, we're going to uh, go back. We've got two losses in a row there. Okay, a loss in overtime. We got a point. Fine. We get two points here. We get two points. So f uh, in the second week, we get five points out of six. Out of six points, we get one point over here in the third week, which is not good. We get only one point as w uh, two points. In, uh, for six game at uh, six and we get uh, two points for four so it seems like we're not getting what we need we're not we're not even getting the half of the points we need every week boys so that's not good uh, 10 12 and 3 we're not doing well at all after the second month I knew the first month was just like it was all right it was not the best thing ever. Now we are one of the worst teams in the league. We are Detroit. It's only normal boys. 3, 5, and 2 in the last 10 games. Now I want to know what exactly I do that changed this up. Because we were doing alright. Let me see if it's the power play or anything. I did switch up like the penalty kill. Because I thought the penalty kill was kind of garbage for our team. So let's see what uh, what changed. The Red Wings, we are awful at goals per game now. Now we are not. We're just simply not scoring goals anymore. We were one of. We're, we were in the middle, so we were doing fine, and now we're giving a little bit too much goal. Yeah, all right. How about the power play? Power play is now awful, and penalty kill. Penalty kill actually went up. All right, so penalty kill is a good thing, boys. It went up. What I'm going to end up doing, I'm not going to look at the stats of the players just yet. I am going to just end up trying this out. Um, 
I'm gonna try to edit the lineups for the power play. I'll see if it actually works. If it works, fine. I mean, I guess it's cool and all. If it doesn't work, then too bad. I mean, it's not gonna be a good year anyways. Might as well get rid while we're ahead of the players that we don't need, like Abdulkader Abdul or whatever, Vanek. Like, they're old players and stuff. We're gonna have to get rid of them to go on a full rebuild uh, if we need to, boys. Because this is not a team that's gonna be ready to go to the playoff the first year on. Looks like they're not good enough. Uh, they are growing, I guess. Menta and Larkin. Slowly but surely, they're gonna grow because they're playing on the lineups they're supposed to play. Uh, Bertuzzi as well. So... I'm counting on all of the young players to grow slowly, boys. So, yeah, let me just do the lineups really quick for the penal uh, the power play. And uh, I'll see you guys for the simulation of the third month. Let's go ahead and do the third month of simulation, boys. Uh, took me a while to actually do the edit line, uh, the to edit the lineups and everything. But uh, now I've got a penal my own personalized penalty kill and power play. Let's see how it goes. For the uh, third month, we're going to simulate up until the uh, the game of the Calgary Flames. So, first game against Boston. Let's see how it goes. A win. Another win. So far, so good. Now, we got a, a big loss against uh, Tampa Bay, though. So, that's not too good. But that's those are big teams. Tampa Bay and um, Toronto are both big teams. So, we don't need to worry too much about that. We did get a couple of wins, though. Uh... Ro oh, Ronek is injured. He's in the AHL, so we can replace him. He's not going to be out for too long, boys. Well, for at least a month or something. Half a month. Uh, now, there's three losses in a row in uh, overtime and shootout, though. So, we got a point out of all these games. At least we're getting points out of the losses. So, that's the, mo the thing that we uh, can forgive, at least. Vanek is injured again, so that's really not good, boys. Really not good. That means that um, he's in the power play, so that means that Frenzen's going to go to the power plays as well. I don't like it, but I'm going to have to do it. There we go. Wasn't for too long anyways, so Vanek is going to be back, boys. Replacing him back in his position. There we go. Vanek is playing. He has a lot of time, boys. He's on all the power plays in the first line. Uh, he's the player we are uh, counting on as, uh, for now as our leader for leading us to maybe the playoffs or like a good season and stuff. So far, this t the third month was much better. Uh, we won a lot of games and the games that we lost, I'd say all of the games that we lost uh, except the fir very first one against Tampa Bay were all in overtime and shootout. So we all got at least a point. Oh, no, never mind. There's two games we haven't uh, we have lost in regulation, boys. But aside from that, very good third month. We got a point out of everything, which brings us back into fourth position in our division with 45 points. Now five, one, and four. Not a good record in itself, but it's a uh, it's a half half. It's a 50 record. So I'm good with that. And the fact that we got four of the these five losses. We got them in overtime or shootout. It's very good, boys. It gets at least gives us a points to work with. So 18, 14, and 9. We're back at the above average. So that's really good, boys. Uh, 41 points. I'm going to have to check if any of my teammates or anything are ready to play in the NHL or have grown or anything. So... Let me see if any of them have grown. Doesn't look like it. Seems like everybody's the same. Boom, boom. All right. Let's see what we got. Still a deaf defenseman over here. Yeah, he's not supposed to be playing. It's we should, like Shulawski should be playing in the AHL, but I unfortunately I can't do that. So let me see. A goalie is anybody that grown? Not really. And AHL is the most important part right here. So, death. Not really. Alright, we're good. We're good on this. Uh, Shashnikov? No, he's not good yet. Alright, so... How about defense? 
No, all right, so we're good. And goalies, we're still, yeah, we're good. We're good everywhere, boys, so nobody's ready to play in the NHL. It's too early. It's the first season too early. Nobody is like a big prospect enough so that they can be ready uh, amongst that time. So let me look at the scouts again, and I'll see you guys for the fourth month. See how the third month, uh, the fourth month of simulation is gonna go, boys. It takes so long to do the scouting this game, uh, this year. I love the way the scouts works because it's much better for us to uncover better players and stuff. We can get even more like better players than before and stuff. But I don't know, boys. It takes so long. I wish it was more. It was faster to just do the scouting in this game. Because so far it hasn't been a really good uh, system. Had never been a good system to scouting in the NHL games. It's it's getting better, but it's not good enough. Uh, Ronek is back for the NHL. So far we haven't won any games in the NHL in the f fourth month. Armstrong is that him? That I who's the one that I? I guess it's got to be him, right? Holmstrom? No, it's not him. Who was it? Huh. I don't know who it was, boys. Holmstrom. Let me see real quick. Scratch. Ronek. He's a defenseman. Okay, yeah. He's a defenseman. That's why. Okay, so defenseman, I guess. Lashoff? Yeah. Got the replaced by Lashoff. Which means you're getting there. There you go, Ronek. And I think we're good on that. So, yeah. Four losses in a row now. That's not... Uh, five losses in a row. That's really not good. Six losses. All right. We're going... We're trailing back, boys. We're having a horrible fourth month. And this is going to kill us. Uh, kill us big time. This is exactly not the type of month you want to have. After getting a decent month. Finally. You, you don't... You don't want to get that type of month. Now it's going to... That's going to kill us. Big time assistant coach replace. I guess we got another injury. A lot of injuries in the AHL. That's for sure. God damn, Shashnikov is now. Zeshnikov is now. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Everybody's getting injured. Iket is back. For God's sake. Well, now who is Iket? Who is he? Uh, he's a defenseman. All right, so. I, I gotta replace him, boys. This is gonna be, get annoying. What the hell? Why does everybody like getting uh, is getting in? Why is everybody getting injured right now? It's getting really annoying. All right, let's go. So it's the end of the uh, the month, anyways. But that was an awful January month. We got a lot of injuries in the AHL and a lot of losses. We won only like how many games? We won two games only in uh, two, four, six, eight. In ten games, we uh, we got we won two of them. Two games in ten. <sighs> yeah, two, seven, one, boys. Goddamn awful. That was uh, really not a good year. Uh, not a good, not a good month at all. It's not a good year, but it's not a good month as well. Let me see how we go. So far, we're tied with uh, Florida, all right, for the fourth place, 50 points. But yeah, we're trailing behind. We need to beat the Rangers and the Islanders. Metropolitan Division is going to be the team to beat, and uh, it looks like uh, looks like we're going to struggle for that. We're not going to be, but we're not going to make the playoffs. I got a feeling, boys, it's just not going to happen this year. I don't, I don't want to be that guy, but. I mean, look at our team. We're definitely not ready uh, to play n nowhere near the uh, the the level of a any of a of a team that would be ready for playoffs. I guess I don't. I don't want to. I don't know what I'm saying, boys. I'm I'm not there right now. Good. Uh, I struggling to to speak for some reason. So. I'm gonna sign the scouts. Doesn't look like anybody's ready to play in the NHL uh, yet. So I gotta assign the scouts again, boys. I'll show you guys really quick what I'm doing. Basically, I'm doing this right here. I'm assigning like this potential and comparison uh, for every player, every 20 players. Basically, that's what I'm doing every month. I gotta do this 
I gotta make sure that it's still going on. Now I got 19 players, but that's fine. I gotta make sure that there's at least not just one player that's been is being scouted, boys. So there's a lot of scouts I gotta assign, just because there's a lot of leagues. So for every league, I've got a scout. I gotta sign now. This guy doesn't have that many for Dell. That's okay. Potential there we go. See, there's another one right there. That's gonna only one right now. Um, at least, at least when it uh, when it comes time to, to the draft, boys. At least we're gonna be ready, and there's gonna be a lot of players we're gonna be able to draft. And we're gonna know in advance who's an elite and and everything. We're not gonna have to search for too long, and that's the beauty of it. Now, okay, so the only one I'm, I've got left for now is the US Central. We gotta do this. It's not doing well at all. The first line is really not doing well, boys. Not playing well at all. I don't like it. Not a good team. Not a good team. It's a good year for our, both of our play, like goaltenders are playing decent. We're playing well. It's just not like... It's a, the team be front, uh, in front of them. They're just not good enough. That's not good enough and I can't do anything about it. Uh, I really don't know what I I can do. Like I, At this point, I don't know what I can do, boys. Let's go right into the simulation although until the uh, the uh, trade deadline. Uh, uh, Sveshnikov is back. I don't know why I was calling him Shashnikov before. I don't know. It feels like a better name. I don't know, boys. So he's back. Pumpol. Yeah, the other one is a death forward, so I need to keep Zvezhnikov in the second line, I guess. Alright, two wins in a row. At least there's that, boys. Now, there's a good thing is that we are going to be able to simulate up until the very end of the very beginning at the trade deadline. So, if we need to do something, if we need to do a trade or something, or like trade our old players, which we are going to do if we really, we don't, we don't know if we're going to make the playoffs. Uh, no, if we know we're not going to make the playoffs, we're going to trade all of our old players like these boys and go on a full rebuild. Who's, uh, who's available now? I didn't see anybody. This probably was a minor injury, boys. All right, so... We got a couple of uh, wins, at least so far. Yeah, it's a it's a natural good month now. Too bad the last month was horrible with only two wins, because we needed uh, to have a decent like we need to to keep it going. We we can't go on a losing streak like this. Like three losses losses in a row now, four losses in a row. This is not good. Then a win against Montreal, but it's already too late. We can't go on win uh, losing streaks like that. Like we're above average, 27, 26, and 11. 11 losses, boys, is uh, 11 losses in overtime is in shootout is a lot, but it's still a lot of points. 22 points in bonus for us, but st we're still struggling, boys. We're in the so here's the thing: we are in the race for the uh, the playoffs, big time. We're in the race. Um, we can still do it. But the thing is, they're st too strong in Metropolitan Division. We can probably manage to beat the Pittsburgh Penguins. But then again, the Flyers, even the Flyers are beating us. Yeah, this is not going to go well for us at all, boys. Yeah, it's not going to go well. None of our players are ready in the AHL to do a jump or anything. Doesn't look like it. So, yeah, it doesn't look like it at all. So... Nobody's ready. Even the, no, the goaltender is nothing. Nobody's ready, boys. So I don't know how to feel about this. Now we're still in the race technically, so I don't want to. Here's the thing: I don't know who to trade for in order to help us out even more because we don't have any assets. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to see if we got any assets so I can probably trade. Uh, I can't even trade. Oh no, I passed the deadline. The deadline was at Montreal. Well, never mind, boys. Never mind then. Or past the dread uh, the trade line, uh, the trade deadline. I thought the trade deadline was uh, the 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 week after this game right here that's coming up. I guess not. So let me do the scouting for this uh, guy right here. I, he's almost done with all of the uh, the scouting actually. 
Yeah, he's almost done with all the scouting. So that's interesting. There we go. The sign. Got four more plays to, uh, to scout right here. And everybody else is good. All right, let's continue the season, boys. We're going to finish this season. Uh, at least finish the season in this video for sure. I'm really like sad a little bit. I wanted to maybe try something at the very end just to see if we could do it. Uh, Franz Nielsen is injured. We're going to have to replace him by Frenzen. Frenzen has do been doing a decent job, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, boys. When he's there, we're losing. We're, when he's not there, we're losing anyways. Carrick is injured as well. Lots of injuries this year. Uh, the injury bug has not been helpful at all, boys. Especially since it's a it's a year where we're gonna we were already gonna be struggling a lot. Uh, having injuries like that is really not gonna help us at all. Now Sam Carrick, I really don't know who that guy is. He's a centerman, so he's got yeah he's in the first line actually, my first liner in the AHL. How about the, this guy Trujan? Much better. But he's another uh, forward, so I don't know why. They've got the same amount of, like, overalls, but they're not, I guess they're not uh, as ready as the uh, previous one. So, Frenzen, you're going back. If uh, Nielsen's going back into his position. There we go. We're good here. Let's continue to simulate uh, two losses in regulation in a row now. That's not good. Now, we got a 7-4 win. Uh, Keep the fans happy, I guess, from time to time. Cholowski uh, got injured. That's not good. Two losses in a row. And these are losses in regulation, too. So this is not good. Mike Green is injured now. We got two defensemen who are injured. So this is not good. Now I got to go and go into the system. Yeah, now, yeah. This is not good. I don't have two defensemen. And Cholowski can play, so... You know what? We're gonna be playing. Uh, make we're gonna make uh, Cholowski play uh, in there. Cholowski, you're playing there. Okay, for the time being. And extra teams. Oh my God, this is. Yeah, this is not what I wanted to do. All right, who's gonna play there? Who's not playing? I mean, I guess the Kaiser can play I guess I don't know boys all right god damn we're getting way too many injuries right now this is not good now it's kind of a tie tie kind of month now we're not even above the record so it's not gonna be good enough yeah we're not gonna make the playoffs yeah everybody make the playoffs for the the east boy east is already done so it's official we are not making the playoffs uh, we finished this month with four and six. Well, the last ten games with four and six were thirty-three and thirty-three and thirteen. That's a lot of threes. Not good month, boys. Not a good year at all. Anyways, so let me sound the Scott again. Really not good year, but I couldn't do anything. Like there wasn't anything in particular I could have done, boys, to help out the team. I could have checked the team stats and everything. Already checked it. I I did the best I could for the power play and the penalty kill. There wasn't any. It wasn't gonna get any better. So I did what I I could. The team is just not good enough. We don't have any like real players to help us out. We don't have a good like elite player to really help us out. Really move us. Uh, they'll lead us to where we need to be all right boys so we are going to simulate we're going to look at the last game for sure all right we're going to simulate up until the last game uh this is the a thing that i wanted to add to the game now multiplayer play multiple multiple players are ready i don't know why i can't speak today man uh my green is ready so my green is up and ready to go boys let's go let's put him back there we go put him back where he's supposed to be there we go and there's two wins in a row now there we go well a little bit too late for that boys a little bit too late let's see where we are 
for the first last game we are at 83 points not that bad you know 35 points but in the league you want to at least get 40 go uh, 40 wins um you want to get 40 uh, 40 wins in order to get at least to playoff contention if you don't get to 40 wins you're not gonna get the get the playoffs boys even even if you have just like us third team uh losses in overtime and shootout it's not gonna help out it's not gonna be enough there we go 88 for the pittsburgh penguins which we just but beat uh, defeated two times in a row now not gonna happen so we're gonna go into the simulation see how the game plays i guess see uh who did what so simulate the first month the uh, first month what am i talking about the first period Berglund, patrick Berglund scored on jimmy howard and for the second uh period darren helm on the second line i believe or third line no i think it's third line he uh answers back so it's one one after one period boys let's go ahead and go into the simulation let's go let's start this up so it's i think we saw 19 uh, 19 shots from us we're doing very well against uh for the last team last team in hometown boys so we need to make this count for our fans score boys you got it let's go we got jimmy howard on our on our net we just took a penalty though who took it the fuck is this 25 my green all right, Mike Green just took a penalty, boys. That's just awful right there. That's exactly not what I wanted to see from one of our players. We all need to take penalties right now. I want to win the last game. I want to uh, go out on a three-win uh, three streak and go out on a win. Uh, simply go out on a win, you know, for our hometown and everything. We finish in hometown. Come on. And now they score, of course. Of course they, they're going to score, boys. Oh boy, this is just great right there. Who scored? Nine, number nine is their captain, I think. Who's the captain? Jack Eichel. 35 goals. All right, that's a good year for him, boys. 35 goals. Jack Eichel on Jimmy Howard. A snipe shot from the point. Yeah, this is uh, this is not good. We can't take penalties like that, boys. Mike Green, another old player that we need to probably get rid of. But he's a veteran. Still got a couple of years left on him. Uh, 82 years. Uh, uh, not 82 years, but 82 overall. Should be good enough for the next year at least uh, with us. So I want to keep him for sure. Vanek in there. Almost uh, almost got it with a slabby. All right. Who's that? I think it's Reinhardt. I called okay. I called was right there. He almost he shot it. Let's see what who's this right here. I can't tell, boys. This is Vanek. So Vanek passes it to Nielsen. Now, this is the first line. Vanek's gonna oh my god, what's gonna snipe it? He tried to snipe it. Wrist line and goes back to Reinhardt, boys. Reinhardt on a breakaway. What are you guys doing? Don't let Reinhardt go in a breakaway, man. So Reinhardt goes. In around, digs around all my players, goes back to Shiri, and the Kaiser intercepts, goes to Nyquist in the right. Nyquist goes for a run around, uh, shoots a, a little shot, nothing goes gonna go by. That's not gonna go by the goaltender. That's Shiri goes by Mittelstadt, the weird name. Uh, Rasmus Dahlin to Akposo, boys. Nice pass right there. Better, uh, better uh, save by Jimmy Howard. We've got Abdul Kader right there with a long name, the long eight. Larkin uh, did a slap shot, didn't go at all in. Now it's gonna have to do better than this. Who's this? Shiri, I think. Went to the net, drives in front of the net, but Jimmy Howard was ready, boys. I gotta say, it looks like we're. Uh, we're struggling just a little bit. Abdul Kader's second line is still up there. Uh, Larkin, he wins the faceoff, goes back to Mar Mike Green, goes back to Menta in front. Menta's probably gonna try to go for Larkin here. Yeah, there we go. I know the CPU boys. Abdul Kader 
goes to Larkin who shoots shoots another one and now I have time I have him it's gonna be better than him on this point to another rebound so rebound shot for Larkin Larkin's playing very well in this uh, this game he's trying to win the game for his own town crowd and everything can't do it though can't do it alone you guys all of you need to uh, work together there's five minutes left on the to the game uh, Rasmus Dalton's gonna break it in uh, with I don't know who that is that's uh, Jeff Skinner the, I didn't even know they had Jeff Skinner in Buffalo they probably traded for him during the season Jeff Skinner goes back to Ristolainen who's gonna drive with it with the help of Reinhardt he goes back to Ristolainen slap shot off the point it's completely missed. Um, I don't know who that is. He shot, but it's not going to go by. Abdul Kader goes for a drive right here. Nobody's there to stop him. Abdul Kader again tries to go 5 all on a wraparound. Doesn't work at all. That's uh, not. Yeah, that's Eichel right there. To Reinhardt. Great save by Jimmy Howard right there. Uh, they're probably going to go for the uh, goaltender to get rid of the goaltender if they can. Jeff Skinner goes right in front of goaltender. Nobody to, uh, to stop him. Pulling the goalie, boys. Don't have too, uh, too much time left. Vanek is going there. Nielsen tries to shoot it, but it's blocked in front of the net. Bogosian uh, takes it back. Drives in front with... Shiri who tries the slap uh, to, uh, to shoot it in the net uh, the empty net, but it doesn't go in Nedel stat Doesn't go in as well. We're gonna lose this game. Unfortunately boys. It's the Yeah, it's the It's the season. It's the game of the season It's exactly just like our season. We end up losing the game. Can't make any points out of it regular season uh, season loss and uh, congrats to Buffalo, I guess, for getting another win. Getting them closer if they haven't even got to the playoffs just yet. Which by then, the, if, you, if you didn't get in, you didn't get in at all. So, they missed it two times, boys. So, I guess that's it. Let's go back to the main menu. So the regular season has ended. Let's simulate a couple of days, two days. I always do that, always two days after the last game. There we go. That's when you know the NHL is uh, gone for. the. It's done. Uh, the season's done. So we're just going to look at the stats, uh, team stats, and uh, player stats before ending this video, boys. So 99 points is actually not that, uh, not that good. In Athletic Division, we struggled... Well, the teams actually it's a it's a good amount 46 goal wins like really good amount Montreal didn't even get to the playoffs they almost got there that's a little bit of a shame right there three more wins they, they would have got there for sure probably probably I I'm not entirely sure boys the metropolitan division was kind of yeah all over the place look at this 50 wins for blue jackets what that's ridiculous, boys. Yeah, that's absolutely ridiculous. Look at this. Uh, Chicago. All right. So let's see where we are. All right. We got to make sure that we get into position, boys, for uh, maybe a contention for the first overall. So let's see where we are. That's second. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think think we are in contention I'm not entirely sure boys we're in 11th place uh, 11th last team I don't know we might get the third or fourth we might be dropped back even we don't we don't know really so let's look at our team best score uh, this year was Nyquist uh, with 27 goals Larkin got 25 as well as Vanek got 25 as well. Even though he got a lot of time in the power play, he didn't uh, do that well anyways. First line really struggled this year. I couldn't change it though because I needed to make Larkin and Menta grow even though they didn't grow at all during the season. So I don't know boys, they, they're not growing. So I'm, they're not going to grow where they're supposed to be playing. 
should have probably played them in the first line. Anyways, Larkin with a 64 7 points in 82 go games played. It's a good amount. It's the right amount. Uh, so he did his part. Absolutely did his part. Uh, Nyquist did his part as well. So he's good. N Menta played well. Let me look at the forwards first. Because uh, Nyquist good. Menta is good. Uh, Vanek is good. It's really good for him. He's a third forward score, third score line uh, forward boys. He did 55 points on the as a third liner. So uh, he, yes, he played on the first line, but still good dad. Uh, Nielsen, all right, very good for him. Darren Helm, good as well at tennis. You uh, as well. Ferk, very good. Uh, Advocator Bertuzzi. Rasmussen as well. Glendening, now friends, of course, is the only one that didn't do the 10 points at least, a minimum, which is fine by me because he, um, he was a replacement, basically. Indeed, pretty well as a replacement. So, defenseman now, 29 points only for... This is our best defenseman. Now, this is where it becomes a problem, boys. Uh, top four... 29 points. He didn't do. He didn't do enough. I want my uh, my top fours to do at least 30 points per season, boys. So he got 20 plus 21 though. So plus 21 and 2.5 shooting percentage. That's not good enough. All right, it's half. It's half. So if they don't do the points, I'm gonna look at the amount of plus minus and the shooting percentage. Shooting percentage is really not good enough, so you can see that um, they need it, that needs to be improved. Mike Green did not do his job this year. A disappointing year for Mike Green. Same thing goes for Cronval, which had a really disappointing year. It's probably our worst defenseman this year. One of the, our worst players as well. Cronval really disappointing. He's supposed to be our leader, the top leader of our team. And he played horribly. Uh, the Kaiser, 23 points now. He's a top four. Uh, yeah, a top four veteran. Didn't do his job as well. 25, plus 25 though. So it's kind of like my green. Disappointing. We're going to let it pass because he got plus 25. But disappointing nonetheless. You got to get at least 5% uh, for me to be happy or something. Uh, in the, the goals category, the scoring and shoot out, a shooting percentage. So disappointing for Mike Green and the Kaiser. Kronvald was horrible. Daly, top six, he did his job. So Daly, great year for him. Good year for uh, Ericsson. Good, uh, no. All right, so Cholowski wasn't able to, well, for most of the year, Cholowski was a deaf defenseman, so he managed to get to top six defenseman, boys, which that's really good. We managed to bring him up uh, a notch, so at least he's a guy that grew up. So Cholowski went up to top six. Uh, I'm gonna say he's, he was a deaf, so he did his job. I don't have, I don't want to ask too much out of him, uh, really. Uh, Jensen. Uh, it was a replacement, so it doesn't matter. The goaltender-wise, goaltenders played very well, even though like the records doesn't say for the wins and ratio, uh, win ratio, but that doesn't matter. What matters is saving percentage, and it goes against average. Uh, really good um, for saving percentage is really good. Uh, it gives two goals per game. So Jimmy Howard played very well. Uh, Jonathan Bernier boys not so good of a year a good saving percentage for backup but then again he's a starting goaltender so he's supposed to get uh, well 81 91 is fine it's fine for a goaltender it's a normal year so he had a normal year with three goals uh, average so normal year for Howard a good year f uh, no goal good year for Howard Normal year for Bernie. I just can't talk right now, boys. I, I need to finish this quick. I'm struggling with the words. We're just going to look at the league really quick. The entire league. See how it goes. Best score. 
was Tarasenko with 53 goals. 50 goals was Tavares. Tavares scored a lot. Now, I don't think that's really accurate. I think Matthews would be the scorer and Tavares would be the one who does the passes. But uh, you never know because, I mean, in real time, Matthews is the one scoring big time. So I don't know. Uh, best player was Stamkos with 94 points, 93 points for Kucherov. So this first line, you can see fifth, filthy first line boys right there. Tarasenko, Crosby, very good year, nice. Kessel, Tavares, Kuznetsov, of all people, that's really interesting. Uh, Jack Eichel, uh, very good year for him. And I guess that's it. Oveshkin had a disappointing year with only 40 goals and 64 points. Disappointing year for Oveshkin. What about the defensemen? Defenseman, best defenseman is Dowdy and Carlson. Both at 65 points, 16 and 40 goals each. So that's really good. 62 points for Toby Tari Crew boys. On the f like a top four who gets 64 points is unbelievable. That's a r really great year for him. Carlson did not do so well compared to his other years, but he, he did he did all right. All right, so P.K. Subban right there did not have a great year at all. Did not have a good year. And the goaltenders now 55 wins for Lundqvist. 50, no, not 55, 45. 43 for Anderson, 42 for Crawford, 41 for Rene. 40 uh, wins for Rask, Vasilevsky, and Jake Allen. So great year for the goaltenders, uh, goaltender-wise. What about the saving percentage? So let's see who got the best. Uh, Lundqvist. All right. So Lundqvist, you can you can tell it's going to go between Pekka Rene boys or Lundqvist. I feel like Vezina is going to go to Lundqvist this year. And the best rookie of the year is Elias Pettersson, boys. 62 points at his first year in the NHL as an 88 overall first liner. Great, unbelievable player, boys. Unbelievable. Andrei Zvechnikov, the brother of uh, the other one that we have in our team. I don't know who it is. Sergei Zvechnikov, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, boys. Kai Kanyemi did pretty well for Montreal Canadiens. 37. All right. Well, that's it, boys, for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you guys for the next one with the draft, the draft pick. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.